Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to bring back Steam's old UI. So the first thing that we're going to do is close Steam. If you have it open just like this, you just have to right click it and then we're going to click exit Steam. Now let's try to go to our Steam and we're going to right click it. We're going to click properties. For the target, we are going to change it. We're going to copy this one right here and we're going to paste it here. We're going to hit apply and continue with permission and then click OK. Now let's try opening our Steam in order for this to be activated. So as you see, it's downloading some files. So what it's doing is that it's bringing back its old UI files. Okay, seems like it's done. We're going to proceed to the next step. We're going to locate Steam's files. We're going to right click this one over here and then we're going to click open file location. Right now, after opening it, what we're going to do is we're going to create a new file here. We're going to right click this one. We're going to click new and we're going to look for notepad. All right, this one. So this is a text document. Now we're just going to rename this one. We're going to rename it with here, uh, steam.cfg. We're going to rename, put it there, and then we're going to open this file. All right, so we're just going to copy this here. There you go. We're going to click save and we're going to close it. Now we're going to close this one. Now the next thing that we're going to do is right click this once again. We're going to hit properties and then we're going to copy this one here. Now we're going to change the first thing that we pasted here earlier. So let's look for that. All right, this one here, we're going to just delete this one and we're going to paste the new one. We're going to click apply and we're going to click continue. Okay. Now, last but not the least, we're going to also change something from our registry editor. We're going to open reg edit. All right, there you go. All right, and then from here, we're going to look for something. Uh, first things first, we're going to go here, user. Now, under user, we're going to go to software. And then we're going to look for Microsoft. There you go. And then after looking for Microsoft, we're going to go to the next one. All right, there you go. Windows, we're going to click that. We're going to open current version and scroll down once more. All right, there you go. So that's run. We're going to click that one. And then here... We're going to change something for our Steam. We're going to right click this one, click modify, and we're going to go here. We're also going to copy this one and then put it here. So instead of that silent, we're going to delete that one and paste it here. We're going to click OK. So this is very important, especially if you have enabled auto run Steam when you turn on your computer. And yeah, after following those steps, you should be able to bring back your Steam's old UI.